In today's video, I'm taking this dive coaster that I built and decorated first in five minutes, then 60, and then the last time, there is no time limit whatsoever. The theme for today is The Walking Dead, because still, it is Halloween month, could be fun. I, I am very curious how different these versions are gonna be, so honestly, let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Ladies and gentlemen, for the 10 minute version, I am absolutely ready, the timer is set. Honestly, let's waste no time and get straight into it. Beginning in three, two, one, go. Okay, so first I think we should make the coaster a nicer color. Let's do something really old and brown maybe. Apply to all pieces. Confirm, confirm, confirm. Okay, and then the supports um, actually probably like dark brown. I don't even know. 10 minutes is ridiculously short. Okay, let's try and see what we can do for the station. Let's go and pick wood first and see what all of this looks like when it's wooden. Of course, all of this is a bit of a head start, but we're definitely gonna need it. And some wooden planks on there as well could be fun. Um, uh, and then what? I mean, <laughs> what are we gonna do? Wait, let's just kind of try and build uh, like a shed around this. I don't even know. Maybe before starting, I should have come up with like a like a basic concept. Because I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what I'm even doing right now. Okay, let me just build a very, very basic roof over here. Just so we have um, something going on. This is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Perfect. Then uh, I guess for this version, we're gonna need to go with just the basic trees. Let's uh, paint those to look just a little bit more natural. Very, very quickly. And then we'll just kind of put a bunch of these around here. Dude, I don't think you can make anything nice in 10 minutes. There's no way. This is going to look like actual trash. <laughs> I'm not being rushed at all. The thing is, I don't even have time to kind of think of something to build at all. I think it's really just gonna be like trees. I mean, maybe I can try putting something here so it goes inside of something, but whatever it is, I gotta do it fast. <laughs> maybe like a part of that prison. I... <laughs> How? How the hell is this ever supposed to be done in time? There is no way. Just... Something like this. And that is then gonna be concrete. Here you go. Absolutely gorgeous. Literally only two and a half minutes left. How, dude? <laughs> Let me just close this up the lazy way. Um, help. Here you go. Absolutely go Hello? Oh my god, it's not working with me! Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Put that in. Okay, very nice. Beautiful pr prison. What? what? Uh, dude, only one minute left. What the hell? Actually, to make this kind of resemble a prison just a little bit, maybe we can add some metal bars of some sort. Okay, I'll just grab this, make that nice and small, uh, and then just do that. <laughs> 33 seconds, and a horizontal one like so. Look, beautiful prison bars, absolutely gorgeous. 24, 24 seconds. I'm just gonna add some more trees, I guess. These uh, trees are very nice, very cool, very Walking Dead-ish, so, uh, in the last third help what what's i don't perform very well under uh time pressure or pressure in general three seconds ladies and gentlemen well i think that was a grand success this is horrible is it even worth watching the pov no. But overall, let's say this is just not it. It is insanely basic. There is literally nothing going on. There is one little prison segment and a shed and a few trees, and that is it. It is truly embarrassing, but hey, we only had 10 minutes, so really? Who is to blame? I am very curious what we can do in 60 minutes. And for that version, I'm actually gonna make a plan before starting, so I actually know what I'm gonna do which um, seems nice. Now, if you would like to decorate this coaster as well, you actually can, because this ride is available as a blueprint in the workshop. The link to it is down below in the description. Simply copy the ID, grab the dive coaster, put it in, and boom, ready for you to use. Now onto the 60 minute version. Ladies and gentlemen, I am ready for the hour version. 60 minutes on the clock. Let's get straight into it. Starting in three, two, one, and there you go. Okay, so right now I think I'll start with the prison. We have quite a bit more time now, so let's go ahead and try and make this look nice for a change. This is basically gonna be one of those towers you see. So, well, let me just try some stuff over here. An hour may be a lot longer, but it's still very difficult to know how long you can spend on things. Because all of this, for example, has already taken five minutes, which is not ideal. I mean, at the very least, it now will actually look like a prison, so that's good. Then I guess we can make the walls of the prison. Just something like this. That. And then what we can always do is just copy over this tower at least. There you go, that definitely helps. <laughs> Inside also needs to be concrete, nice and simple. And something I completely forgot is the color of the coaster. Let's fix it. I'm thinking maybe 
Like this zombie green color could be nice. Basically just a very desaturated green. That is pretty sweet. We do need to kind of fix this because it definitely uh, hits the ground. And I'm thinking we just make this like a uh, broken kind of area where the ground is completely shattered by something. We only have 45 minutes left. We already spent a quarter of our time. Once again, praise the Lord for the copy and paste tool. And there you go. This is fine for now. Um, let's move on to other things. For example, a tree would be nice. And this time around, let me just experiment with some of these dead trees for a change. I truly hate how every single time this stuff takes so much longer than I think. And then using some of these regular small bushes, I'm going to make the tops of these. The time for masterpieces comes later. Grab that and see in front of the prison, I'm going to put some of these just over here. A few different sizes as well. And kind of by copying and pasting these, I'll create a bit of a foresty, um, foresty area. See, now that is much, much less ideal. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to need some different ones. This is going to look absolutely horrendous, but I'm going to have to use these because there is no way I can make an actual forest otherwise. So just like that, let me just add some beautiful. What I also realized is the station still looks like this. And this time around, let's not go for the wooden style, but just the same concrete vibe, I guess. A roof, just a very basic flat roof like this. And then you may ask, what is this supposed to be? I, I couldn't tell you, honestly. <laughs> just like a prison kind of style, but I don't even know. Once again, the planning of all of this is impeccable. And the crazy thing is, we're already like pretty much halfway through the time too. <laughs> so what I also want to do is add like a city, based basically just a city from The Walking Dead. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, make some roads like I did at Movie Park, I suppose. <laughs> we'll put some stripes in that, just like this looks incredible. And then around those roads, we'll later just put some buildings, actually pretty much now, <laughs> for example in the center here in the middle of the helix we can definitely put like a big skyscraper and actually i think if we do something like this and then paint the inside of the building um black metal instead then we copy all of these all the way up there you can see where this is going and then all we need to do is add some stories like so instant skyscraper yeah, this actually works insanely well and um i'll just put some more of these uh in here. These are going to be a bit shorter. We don't have time to save space, so these are just going to be um, in the ground. Then we're going to need the same thing, but just a different design. And look, for this one, I just made one segment, so we can really make it as high as we want. So, well, it is just going to be copy and pasting these buildings in it. And then in combination with a bunch of these trees, I feel like that could look decent. I mean, actually... No, I retract that statement. <laughs> Ooh, and then right here, I'll put one that's completely knocked over. Like this. Because after all, this is the apocalypse. There you go. That. Ooh, yes, I like that. <laughs> but I also just realized we do have these cars. So let's just put a bunch of these kind of broken down on the road like this, along with these bigger ones. Because really, this does have to look like the apocalypse. And so far, it doesn't really, besides that one building. <laughs> there is also not a single zombie in sight. But to be fair, I didn't really expect that to happen. That is probably something for the final version, the unlimited time version. Um, because this is simply just not, I mean... Y y you know, I mean, this does make it feel a little bit more alive, I guess. So that's good. <laughs> Let's see. We have 18 minutes left. What can we do in 18 minutes? Hold on. What am I thinking? I can just add mannequins because I myself am literally a zombie. <laughs> I was planning on building some zombies, but for now, for this version, this is actually, I mean, it works. <laughs> the only thing is you can only do one at a time, which is not ideal. We'll put a bunch of them around this car over here. Then where we also need some more is, of course, in the prison. There are zero zombies here. And of course, the prison has to be absolutely flooded with zombies. Yo, this I've never seen, though. They don't load from far away. What the hell is that all about? And you know what's also quite concerning? There isn't even a queue. You know what? I'm literally just gonna grab some concrete path and make a queue like this because uh, at least it's something then. It could technically work. Because, well, it's kind of bad that we didn't have a queue last time. Impossible, but kind of bad still. So, well, this then, I suppose pose is where you get in and then for the fences we'll do this as if it's completely barred with wooden fences to protect you from the zombies um we've got 12 minutes left let's put some more zombies in the queue as well for some vibes and what can we do in 12 minutes how can we enhance this i know 
Smoke emitters. Yes, yes. Oh, and fire, dude. How could I forget? These cars have to be on fire. Here you go. That is just what this needed. Some action here. This one's on fire as well. And then using some smoke emitters underneath them, we'll just put in the smoke. See, that is <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Oh, and I'll also do that over here where the buildings collide. <laughs> Once again, a bunch of smoke. So it's nice and dramatic. Here is it. That... Uh, that Unironically looks pretty cool. What the heck? I'll definitely do some of that stuff for the final version too, but better, much better. Okay, so it is definitely looking like an apocalypse. It's just like the apocalypse just started, which is maybe not the vibe I'm going for, but oh well. I guess we can always spice it up with a few more trees in the background. Here you go. Oh. Well, I guess not. I think this happened at the last one of these videos as well, where towards the end, you just don't really know what to do because whatever you want to do will take way too long and you can't actually finish it. So then you end up not doing it at all, which I guess, I mean, in a way is safer. There you go, just another building. Um, yeah, I actually have no idea what to do now. I'll just continue to use these elements we made, I guess, and uh, spice it up just a little bit more. But I am so curious to the final version of this. I am so curious. Imagine all of this, but nice. What I can try in these last two minutes is adding a fence on top of the wall for the prison here, just like so, so it's a bit less basic. And we really only have one and a half minute left. I mean, to be fair, that does really help. It looks a bit more like a prison now. And then with the last 30 seconds, let me just put... <laughs> Some more bushes, dude. This is a mess. What a mess. I am pretty impressed with how much stuff there is. Like, this is a lot of stuff, but like, I mean, it's all copy and paste it anyway. But uh, yeah, no, this is it. Six seconds. It's been a pleasure. It looks terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, 60 minutes of playing this game gets you to this point. Does it look nice? No. Does it look 20 million times better than the previous version? Yes, absolutely. The sad thing is, it is simply still not a functional ride. There is only an entrance and no exit. There's no real good supports. There's not even like a catwalk on the coaster. There's nothing. It's it's just not right. Also, I don't need to tell you how messy all of this looks. It looks very amateur, not ideal. Definitely a big step up from the previous version, um, but still it is lacking some finer detail and that's where the last version will come in. Like the previous video, I did like this. Um, I didn't actually record the final version because it's basically just the same stuff again, except now much more insane and much longer. So no thanks. But well, I suppose allow me to present the final and definitive version of this coaster.
Ladies and gentlemen, saying I have cooked doesn't even really cover it. I have quite literally spent an eternity on this. Pretty sure it was like three days in a row just just building. But I mean, I think you can tell where all of those hours went. This honestly might be one of my most detailed projects to date. Um, it's ridiculous. I mean, the result is insane. This video did take about 20 times longer than it should have. But guys, I mean, it in fact turned out so insane. I'll actually make a separate video properly showcasing this because for today it's just, um, well, minimal. This video is long enough as it is. So uh, stay tuned for that. However, for now, let's just quickly run through this. Over here, the Walking Dead prison escape. Pretty dope. This queue part looks really nice and detailed. Lots of tiny little rocks is gonna make our way through just like that then some more zigzags straight into c block then we go inside this is actually pretty boring but i mean it's the queue come on it's supposed to kind of build up the tension then you go through this door and this is of course the station turned out pretty fire if you ask me i love the vibe the atmosphere all of these doors over here really make it feel like something is about to happen and i mean you've already seen the pov but well um this is looking pretty fire you come out right over here this actually took quite a long time, as you might expect. Then the first area is actually my least favorite. This is just like nature. We do have a bunch of these zombie guys kind of, um, you know, hanging around. Other than that, here it is mainly just a lot of trees. I just quite frankly didn't really know what to do with this whole area. So I just put some containers down and some, some nature and rocks and grass and just the basics. Around that whole thing is a giant wall, which I think can make it look a bit more, you know, concealed. Some more containers over here and again, more trees, more nature, that sort of stuff. This part of the right, however, is where it gets quite insane. This? took almost a full day to do like the whole hospital and all the holes inside it actually it turned out beautiful but this never again i had to kind of make it accurate too because all of these rooms obviously need to be cut off um down here there are some more rooms as well and i made some hospital beds some zombies added to it and of course some flickering lights to make the whole thing just um incredibly destroyed then some more junk over here if we move on we go through uh this i honestly don't know what this is but it looks nice so oh well and then right below you there is just a bunch of trash and junk and cars and that sort of stuff the cars by the way are the only thing and the the helicopter too are the only thing i didn't build myself those are blueprints i did of course uh, modify them this helicopter was actually not broken first same goes for the cars they used to be very bright colors and fully functional these are um not so yeah it's a combination of loads of these tiny rocks some grassy area some ivy um that <laughs> i suppose it kind of speaks for itself i also did add some graffiti um on the walls here it's graffiti isn't it graffiti graffiti i don't even know it looks pretty fire also there are literal holes in the ground there's a car in there as well and over here the mayhem continues loads of rubble rocks junk zombies exiting this giant hole over there some holes in the walls a uh, another hole which has some smoke as well honestly I mean, what can I say? It's insane. I spend way too long doing this. This part is rather clean, but you don't really see that at all in the coaster. I mean, let's be real. You don't see most of this in the coaster, but it's cool anyway. But yes, then this chopper pad I also built. It looks quite nice. It's nice and broken, as you can see. And again, some more junk. The same goes for all the roofs. There's another hole in here, a bunch of rocks. All the roofs here, by the way, have all of these fans and like rooftop elements, which makes it look just a bit more realistic, even though I have no idea. If it is, it's kind of weird, actually. Something else I did is add the details to the coaster track. All of this, of course, isn't there in the default ones, so I just added that myself. It does make it look so much better, in fact. And yeah, I mean, there are some buildings like this bad boy over here. Loads and loads of trees, some of which are copied from Realm of Rides, of course. And there's this building, again... I mean, what can I say? It's just a lot of stuff. I also love this little corner over here. It looks very, very crisp and detailed. And this as well turned out so cool. There's even a little zombie hiding over there. I guess you can you can tell why this video was delayed. It was supposed to come out a few days ago, but um, here we are. It is, I'm just, I'm very proud of this. It turned out incredible. If you get out, you go towards this, the exit sign, up this little stairs, and then all around here, across the track, and that leads you back out to 
here. And of course, down here, you can actually look at the photos that were taken. I don't know where or when or whatever, but um, it's the idea that counts. And then you just kind of go here and back through the exit. Um, this prison, obviously, is a like, kind of based on the prison in the show. It's not one-to-one, -one, but it's just like a some details match. Everything else is kind of just a creative liberty. I mean, there are hospitals in the show. They just don't look like that specifically. It is all just apocalyptic zombie stuff. So... Yeah, it works though. Of course, the support's also completely custom, even a little chain lift element over there. I also tried making a path between this that leads you to the actual area itself, so it's not completely useless, but um, yeah. I, I guess that kind of covers it. An extra little cinematic montage along with the off-ride and on-ride and all that sort of stuff will be in a separate video, like I said, but for today, I guess that's it. The differences between the first, second, and third version obviously are huge. That first version, I mean, let's just not even talk about that. The second one was a whole lot better, but still looks pretty terrible. You just can't do much in an hour. But then that third one, the, I mean, let's just say good things take time. It is really true. It uh, If you want to make something nice give it some time if we compare this ride to the previous challenge you can tell it's quite a bit bigger and um, which is the whole problem this kid's coaster of course is a hell of a lot smaller it didn't took nearly as much time it does look nice however i still think it's pretty much up to par with that it's just very different it's a very different theme but well then i did all of this basically like a short series worth in one video and i didn't even record it <laughs> so well i mean um you better like this video because I look at that. Surely that is worth like. It will never not be fun to see the different versions of these time challenges. So, well, th this one is no different. I'm obviously very happy with the results and I hope you are as well. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell not to miss a single future video. Then I hope I'll see you in the next video.